That'll be next one. They turn at least the two best teams in Munster. Oh, yeah, definitely. Outside of Kilkenny, Kilkenny is one consistent team to go to the best teams. So here they are going to have that on the door. They have a full pick on the next one. They'll be hot players playing at home. Now, what they missed a few players, like, you know, Kim McGrath has got an injury, he's out. Gary Horney, we did for far the last day. He's got a shoulder, broken shoulder, he's gone as well. There's Doug's most people look people. But even without these fellas, they'll be very hard to beat. What will try to stop Tim from running? The Tipperary in all the matches have been running to big leagues, easing off the table, getting caught and then coming again. What will get in their faces, try to stop them from getting into a lead and try to put the pressure on them. They got the two or four points up but to be trying to see how Tim would react. But you'd have to say, like, that Tim will be the favourite next so they should win the game. Alright, Jared, take us through Walford. Well, well uh, you know, you could say that this Tullis is the home of uh, Tipperary Holly, but, you know, Walford would have played better there than they played in any other pitch. Now, I suppose, looking at them this year, of course, there's an over reliance on John Mullane. That has been the, the, big, the big problem there this year. The big bonus of the last day was the performance of Baker Print, uh, 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 Seamus Print again, especially in the last few minutes. Of Brick Welch to centre back. I think that is a move that has really changed around Walsh for this year because they were very vulnerable to people coming through the centre before. But Walsh has been absolutely outstanding since he went back there. And um, uh, now they're the, 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 the Milan here. Milan is on fire this year. He's even better this year than he was ever, ever before because now he can shoot left and right. And he doesn't matter what kind of player comes on him, but he's aggressive. Now here's another ball to happen. They haven't gone on that year. When a team runs at him from the, from the half forward line, they leave their full back line very, very open. And even with Brickford West back there, they haven't solved that problem. Here we are again, 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 getting it on now. Again. You, there you are, the loose man left the side. Yeah. Now you don't see that team. They have no player back covering, no one minding the house. And they get as open as to be there. They are fucking out, cut from the goal, no one standing back, no one minding the house, and the team, the team are, are clean through. Now, if they eliminate those balls, especially the balls of the team running on them, the full back line getting dragged out a bit too far. Now, the team that have forward line, when, when they play well, you know, when they play well and they didn't get caught in the bus half, they half forward line, run, run, run at the full, at the full back line, like they, against Clare. They were running Clare ragged when they did that. Provided, of course, they get possession. The biggest problem that they have half forward line is to win the puck out and get possession. But when they do, they run at that full back line, they're very dangerous. And Watford will have to cut out this. They'll have to cut out the runners coming through, probably by dropping a player back. It will only be the end of the game. He's not in the big last. Okay, Tomas, you'll be looking at Tipperary first. Yeah, and I mean, I look at Tipperary and I suppose uh, the good, the bad, and uh, I suppose Brendan Cummins at the end of it, uh, because I mean, they've looked very, very impressive at the pace, pace of their game this year, and particularly, I mean, they've played a lot of the game plan with their puckles down the top of Lark Power and the smaller panel back. Against Clare, the crossy ball is very, very effective here. We see it down to John O'Brien, and again, like running through the five men in space, get the score here. I mean, it's really effective, you know. Mm. John mentioned about the pace that they have, the half forward line with their run at guys, they set up scores and stuff like that as well. But the, the ugly side of this, or the bad side of this, is that they seem to run all the pace in games, they seem to actually slow down completely. That the, the, this running game has taken so much over because there's so much movement. Particularly in the forward line, they're crisscrossing and stuff like that. And, and I mentioned Brendan Cummins, I mean, this is a stage in the game that Clare maybe could have won this game because he made a fantastic save. Here we are against Cork again against Patrick Corrigan. Okay, he's still in his head, but this guy wants to put it in front of the ball when it comes at him, you know, and um, he's been kind of the rock that they're building on, certainly in, the, in, in defence. And uh, only for him, particularly the last day against Clare, I mean, Clare could have won that match. And that's probably the bad and the ugly side of, of, of Tipperary. Very, very good going forward. Very good attacking team, but they certainly have run out of steam. As well as I said, the three big leaders they had last year, Conor O'Mahony is in the Shane McGrath midfield, and Owen Kelly is going forward. They're just not holding this year. They're not playing. They'll be taken off in almost every game. Okay. And unless you have solid rebuild leaders on a field, don't you think the tie goes against you? These three lads are coming back from injury. You know, I know. Uh, I, 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 want to go, I want to go and hear from the two managers. So before I do, a one word call on this. Tomorrow. I think that Tip and Torres will be hard to beat. Tip. If, if, if those three players have been, Tip will win. If not, Watford we could win quite easily. So Tip or Watford? One word now. Sarah. I say Well, you've started a conversation down here in the Hazel Hotel as well, Jez. 
Davy Fitzgerald and Liam Sheedy, the two managers uh, with me here. Liam Sheedy, let me just talk about last year, the All Ireland semi final, losing. Is that a huge psychological thing in terms of an advantage that you were point to prove? Ah, not really, Mark. You know, we were always disappointed last year. You know, you know that's 2008. It's all about 2009 now. Um, well, many of you are just delighted to be back in the Munster final. You know, it's it's a very very competitive championship, as we all know. And uh, two very very tough assignments on the way, obviously with with Cork and Clare. And uh, you know, thankfully we've got ourselves back into the final, which was a rare meal. The fact that you know them so well. I mean, are you going to come up with some? Tactical cuteness that we haven't quite anticipated. And or really, it's what we saw down to on the day. You know, I mean, Walter are not that side, everyone knows that. You know, but I, I, I'm on record as saying that Munster is a minefield, and wherever you turn to Munster, you're going to get a, a really, really competitive match. And typically, it's, it's, it's typically full of all stuff. So I don't think the next Sunday being any different. But uh, lads, are, lads are training well, uh, it's a great buzz in camp, and we're just looking forward to next Sunday. Any injury problems? Uh, Shane Maher is still struggling with his, with his hamstring, and, and probably won't make it. But other than that, we, we, we should be okay. At it. David Fitzgerald, second year as manager uh, of Warford. Are you under pressure down at the invitations? So they tell me at times, I think, and you know, um, ah, it's an I'm enjoying my stint to um, As I said, we got, a, we got a good run last year. Probably didn't get a great result in the final and all, but um, again this year, we're back in the Munster final, and I suppose a lot of people would have rolled us off after what happened last year. But, you know, they're strong guys down there, they're, they're mad for road, and it's great to be back competing again in the Munster final. What's vital now from a Waterford perspective?